Hey everyone, in this video, we're going to start playing around with some of the effects you can do. So when you click on a clip, you have some icons at the top. So for instance, I'll click on this third one. You'll see I've got the little trash can. I have a thing called effects, and then I have a little pencil tool for editing. So the first thing I want to deal with, uh, which I was telling you about a moment ago, was this issue with how my sound just kind of uh, abruptly stopped. So let me play this again. See, that just doesn't sound very good. So here's a trick for doing, um, making that sound a little better. You can click on your clip that, it, you know, where you have audio that abruptly stops and click on your pencil tool. And when you do, you get some tabs here at the top. Now the tab I'm gonna focus on for this little edit is this audio tab. So if I click on the audio tab, I can control things about that particular clip. I can make it louder, I can make it softer, or I could click the mute button and it totally goes away. But I could also fade it in or fade it out. Now, in this case, it's the very end of the music that abruptly stops. So I want that to fade out. And I think it'll sound better if we you know, slowly fade out the volume. So all you have to do is drag this little slider to the right. And what these numbers are telling you is how many seconds you want it to take to fade out. So for instance, if I stop it here, I'm telling Wii Video, I want you to fade out that audio clip over the last three and a half seconds. So I'm going to go ahead and click done and add it to my video and I'll play the last little bit for you. And what you should be able to hear is the, uh, the final three seconds that it starts getting or three and a half seconds that it starts getting quieter. So that was a whole lot better. It sounded a lot, a lot better than just having it abruptly stop. Now I'm going to jump into this middle clip and show you a few other little edits you can do here. Uh, when you click on the pencil tool, again, you have these different tabs at the top. We already talked about the audio one. Uh, this one over here is to add a caption. So if I type something here, it's going to come out over the picture. This one here is transform and you can rotate, you can flip. Just be careful when you flip. If, you're, if your picture has words on it and you flip it, your words are going to be backwards. So rebels, if you flip it, it's going to say sleeper and that's going to look really weird. Uh, fit frame. This is helpful if you add a picture and it doesn't fill up the whole frame, like there's black on the left and right side, you can click fit frame and it'll make it bigger. You also though can do it by hand. You have a scale slider and you can scale your image up or scale your image down however you want. And as you scale it, you can also come over here and it turns into a hand and you can drag it wherever you want. So sometimes that's helpful. Uh, for instance, you could scale something down and drag it over to a corner and then on, on another video track, add another video and drag it to this corner, scale it down. And you could literally have like four videos or more uh, all playing at the same time if you scale them down enough. Now, if you don't like what you've done, you can click the little trash can and it will take everything back to normal. Again, here's your audio, your volume uh, settings. This next one is called animation, and this is really cool. This allows you to zoom in or out or move an image or a video across the screen. So the way you do it is on start, you tell it where you want your, your image to start. So in this case, I'm just gonna leave it exactly where it is. And on end, you can scale it or move it and tell it where you want it to end. So let's say I want a zoom in effect. So I can scale it up a little bit. I could also drag it over some, you know, that kind of thing. And when I click the play button, you'll see that it, you'll see how it, how it zoomed in over the course of that little clip, that little segment. So again, you could zoom out. So instead, if I wanted to zoom out, I could have it like zoom all the way away. And you'll notice it zooms out here. You can even do some interesting things like this um, here at the start you could drag the whole picture off the screen and say, I want it to start off the screen. And at the end, I want it to be on screen, or you could drag it, you know, all the way off the screen on the other side and you get something like this. So all sorts of different things you can do there with your animation. Again, the trash can will take you back to normal. Uh, this next tab, is for color control. And some of these you will want to play around with and some you don't want to touch that often. Brightness is one I'd really don't move that often. If you take it to the right, you'll notice it washes things out. 
However, if you take it to the left, it makes things darker. Sometimes you do want to take it to the left so that it looks more like a nighttime scene. Uh, but most of the time, I just leave that where it is. Contrast is one that I almost always will adjust. When I bring a video in, I usually like to move the contrast a little bit to the right because it makes the image pop a little bit more. So I usually shoot for somewhere in that 20 to 40 range. You don't want to go too extreme, see what it does there. Uh, but somewhere, like I said, anywhere 20 to 40, uh, you'll notice just things kind of pop a little better. Saturation will control how bright something is. Uh, excuse me, how vivid, I should say, uh, the colors are. So if you look at the pink and the yellows and the oranges, when I drag the saturation to the right, they get even pinker and even yellower and even oranger kind of thing. Again, be careful because you can go way too far. Then everything looks a little crazy. Now, you can also drag it to the left and desaturate. That takes the, the colors away. If you go all the way to the left, it's just totally gray. But sometimes you might want to go to the left some. So, for instance, if you're trying to make a video look like it's an old video, say from the 50s, like a homemade video from the 1950s, and it's faded out over time, then you might want to desaturate it some. Uh, but typically, I will kind of bump it to the right just a little bit to give my colors just a little more pop. Hue is the last one here, and this is one you usually don't want to mess with uh, unless you're just doing something for fun. If you move the hue, notice what happens. It changes colors. Blacks will stay black and whites will stay white, but everything else will change colors. So right here, you know, maybe you're making a video about Smurfs and you want everybody to look blue, you know, so that kind of works for that. But typically you just leave, leave it where it is. The next uh, one here at the top is Color King. I'm going to do a separate video just about Color King. And then the next one here is Speed. And this is where you can control how fast or how slow, here's slow on this side and fast on this side, uh, that you can make your clip. So if you want to do a slow motion, you could drag it over to the left. And I'll show you an example of that in another video.